The Museum of the American West in Los Angeles's Griffith Park was established to preserve and document the history and traditions of the American West. The museum's comprehensive collection of Western art has galleries and special expositions on the forces that shaped American Western society. The Museum of the American West was founded in 1987 by entertainer and businessman Gene Altry based on his personal collection of Western art and memorabilia as well as other Western themed collections. Autry's legacy is the Museum of the American West, which opened in 1988. Items from his collection include guns owned by Billy the Kid and Pat Garrett and Wild Bill Hickok, as well as an extensive collection of Colt firearms. The museum is filled with historical artifacts, along with television and movie props, costumes, and exhibits. Museum founder Gene Autry was a huge success in the entertainment industry. Autry first sang on radio in 1928, quickly becoming a star as a songwriter, singer, movie actor, and businessman who owned television and radio stations, as well as the California Angel baseball team. The main museum building has three levels, with galleries for both permanent and changing expositions. There is also a research facility, a movie theater, and a garden. The collection includes artifacts, artwork, costumes, and other items displayed in seven different galleries. The first gallery, The Spirit of Discovery, follows the native residents of the area, influenced by Spanish explorers who reshaped the West. The Spirit of Romance Gallery presents those who glamorize and forge the popular myths of the West, displaying works by Georgia O'Keeffe, Thomas Moran, and Frederick Remington. The Spirit of Imagination Gallery presents the influence of radio, television, and the movies in creating the mythical images of the American West, with displays featuring the biggest stars of Western movies including props and posters from popular films. The Spirit of the Cowboy displays the tools, dress, and image of the West's most enduring character. The Spirit of Community presents the important social aspects of the West with a focus on law and order, outlaws, and lawmen. A mock-up of a town with different businesses, buildings, and a church includes photographs and artifacts that one might have seen in the Old West. The Spirit of Conquest Gallery outlines how the arrival of settlers and farmers destroyed the way of life for native peoples. The Spirit of Opportunity explains what drew people to the West in a quest for land, gold, and a new life. A large mural includes many of the Western characters from American pop culture, represented in a large painting titled Spirits of the West. An outdoor area in the back of the museum opens up into a beautiful ethnobiological garden with a waterfall. A decorative panorama of basalt columns, a scene found in the Sierra Mountains, provides a wonderful ambience. The area includes 60 native plants and a large California oak tree, part of a garden in a very relaxing area. This great collection of art and artifacts covers the history and mythology of the American West, 
This famous but often overlooked attraction is well worth the visit. 